Hello, this is another video provided by FlipWebsites.com, and this video provides an overview of the Wayback Machine. This is an internet archive tool, and what this tool does is it provides snapshots of a website's history going back to 1996. Now, you might be asking, why do I want to know what a website looked like in the past? Well, it's important to know a website's history, particularly when you're buying a website, because you want to make sure that the website has been consistent from its inception. So, for example, let's say you are, are buying a website today that is promoting camcorders. And your intent is to buy that website and you're going to continue to promote camcorders as an affiliate marketer. When you go to the Wayback Machine and you discover that in the first two years that the site was launched, it was actually a porn site. And uh, in fact, it was a very popular porn site. And to this day, people go to that website because they're thinking they're going to a porn site, but it, obviously it's not a porn site anymore. Well, that can be a bad thing, obviously, because if your site's um, now promoting camcorders and that's what you want to be known for, you don't want people coming to your website thinking they're going to get porn. Um, so that's one reason. Another reason, and probably the most important reason, is the backlink issue. Um, you want as many backlinks to a website as possible, and you want um, quality backlinks. And I'm defining quality as backlinks that are relevant you know, that is to say they're coming from relevant or websites that are relevant to the niche and websites that have authority, that have a high PR and have a lot of backlinks going to them themselves. So if um, as far as the backlink history then, and using this example that I'm, I'm drawing up here with the porn slash camcorder website, um, if the website was in fact a popular porn site for a couple of years, chances are a lot of the backlinks that that website has is going to be um, from websites you might not want backlinks from. It, it might be backlinks from other porn sites or from forums of people recommending, hey, this site's got some great porn, you know, go here. Um, you don't want those kind of backlinks because they're not, they're not relevant. Um, and they're certainly not, you know, they're not going to be quality backlinks. So a lot of the backlinks that the site has might not be doing you any good. So it might have 3,000 backlinks, but 2,500 of them might be from porn sites. It's not going to exactly help you in the search engine rankings. And then the third reason is, is just, you know, sheer curiosity. You might just want to know how a website has um, changed or evolved over the years. So let me just show you how this tool works. And I got to warn you, this tool is kind of finicky. Sometimes it's down. Sometimes it doesn't always work. It'll time out. Um, it, it'll show you just some weird results. So it's not, uh, this isn't a 100% uh, reliable tool, but it is useful to just give you some, some historical perspective on a website. So I'm going to type in Lynn Terry's website. Now, Lynn Terry is a very well-known internet marketing guru, if you will. And I know she's had her website for a long time, and I know she changes it about every year or so. She'll do a totally new redesign to keep it fresh. So let's just see what her websites look like over the years. And, and it's clicknews.com. Clicknews.com. So take me back. And as you can see here, um, they uh, the site has an archive of her site going back to 2000. So I'm just going to click at random here. Let's do November 24th. Let's see what it looked like on that date. And okay, there you go. So here, here it is. Now, again, this is where the tools kind of, I, I, I have a hard time believing her website looked like this. But again, let's just say I was looking to purchase this site and her site's all about internet marketing, okay? And I'm going to buy the site assuming it's always been about providing internet marketing tips. So what I'd want to see here is I would want to see the theme stay consistent. In other words, I would want it to always be about internet marketing. And as you can see here clearly, just glancing through here, she's talking about it's all about internet marketing stuff, um, affiliate programs, uh, RSS courses. So that's that's good to see. And then I would, uh, let's just jump to 2006. Let's go to August 30th. Okay, Internet Marketing Journal, still all about internet marketing. Again, the, the theme and design has changed here. 
and let's just do 2008. And uh, there you go, internet marketing ideas, tips, and reviews. So this site has been very consistent. It's always been about internet marketing. So um, that's a good thing. So that's the kind of thing I'd want to see when I'm buying a website. I want to see consistency. Um, sure, the design is going to change, and you know, ideally, it's going to get better looking over the years. But the main thing I'm focused on or, or concerned about when I'm using this tool is I want to see that it's always been about, or it's always been about that niche that I'm buying the website for today. So again, the Wayback Machine bookmark it, use it. Um, if nothing else, it's just kind of a fun tool to use just to see what what a website looked like in the past.